What's up? Today is Crested Gecko feeding day. I'm James from James's Jet Tiles. This is my bedroom. I'm about to get a reptile room like tomorrow, so that'll be pretty freaking tight. Actually, most of them will be in there. Every like rack and everything that looks nice is gonna go into the living room. My roommate's moving out, and that'll be awesome. And I'll just have a couple of mixed match animals in here. Uh, it'll slowly get better. Videos will get better content will get better animals will get better everything will get better slowly but today is crested gecko feeding day i'm going to show you every crested gecko that i own this right here is my breeding trio this is skipper bella and olga now skipper is a really nice male real big uh frills and light colors and grays I got him with Bella for free from a buddy. And the reason she's Bella and she's Olga is because Bella's really nice looking in my opinion and Olga's not as nice looking, so help me distinguish them personally. Bella and Ugla, Ugla. <laughs> Bella and Olga, because Olga means ugly and Bella means beautiful. And these guys do not want to stand still. So here they are and here they go. These right here are Paradise and Cletus. Cletus is the first gecko I ever produced. And really, I didn't produce it. When the geckos, the trio that you gave me, the trio that you saw before was given to me. Don't do that. Um, well, it was a Paradise at the time, but there were a bunch of eggshells at the bottom and eggs. And I didn't really realize it. And I had them for probably about a month. And one day, Cletus just popped right out. And Paradise is the first one I bought at a show. He was a baby when I got him. And they just kind of grown at the same speed, so I have them housed together. If I had to take a guess right now, they're both sitting about 10, 11, 12 grams. Paradise is going to be a boy. Cletus is going to be a girl. Now, that's just my guess. I've, this is the first pair of geckos I've ever grown up. These are the oldest geckos I've ever grown up. All the other ones, I, those three I've got as adults, the other trio. And the rest are all babies that are younger than these, so... That would just be my guess right now. We'll have to see. And I kind of want to keep Cletus no matter what. But if it is a boy, there's not a whole lot of reason to keep him. Just because he's not my nicest. But always keep females back. Especially with Cresteds. Because the more you can breed, the better. Especially when you're starting out. Next we have Renus and Charger. These two are housed separately. Uh, Charger I got from Pangea. <sighs> up next we have up next we have Renus. You'll notice he's really gray and almost looks like he's in shed too. I think that has something to do with uh, my males. I think I just had two really gray males and produced some pretty gray babies. And then here these are each house singly. They used to be together, but Charger got too big. This is Charger. And Charger is not happy. And neither is Renus. But you know what? That's okay. Charger's got kind of a fire going on. I'm not really sure about those, like the morphs that just mess with the lateral lines. I like the, the pinstripes, the Dalmatians, and the actual morphs like Lily White and Exanthic. And Highball especially. He's got a little bit of porthole and he's interesting. He's a lot darker than some of the ones I have. But he's definitely feisty. Oh, next up we have Ram. Um, a lot of them are named after Dodge kinds of cars because my buddy owns a Dodge and I asked him for a bunch of name suggestions when I bought a bunch of geckos from Vangia. And I just need a bunch of names so I asked him. And he has a SRT, so of course he wanted to get all Dodge fanboy and name them all Dodge animals. But that's okay, I'm not really worried about it. Most of these I plan on selling. 
There are two or three from Pangea that I do want to keep back, but this is Ram. These next two are Beetlejuice, which is going to be one of my keepers just because I like that. The white that fades up to the dorsal but doesn't go all the way. I think that's very nice. And of course, this one should have its own clip, but they do live together. This is Whitey Hooten. Now you can see Beetlejuice is in shed, and this next gecko, they do live together, but it should have its own clip, it is Whitey Hooten, my Lily White, and he is very spasmatic, hopefully it's a he. Um, if it ends up being a girl, then I will just breed it to my nicest male, but if it ends up being a boy, I have a lot of friends, I promise I breed them to their females. And that'll help me get a lot more lily whites the first year since I don't have a ton of females. But by the time he's ready, I'll definitely have at least four or five females for him. That'll be grown up and ready. But he's very spazzy. And of course, one of the things with owning a bunch of geckos is that I don't have time to hold all of them. So you will see some of my geckos probably are more erratic than your pet geckos at home. And that's just because I'm a breeder and that's kind of the way it goes. Up next we have Neon. Neon is I maybe a Dalmatian. It's it's hard to tell what. Dalmatian is 25 or more spots. Super Dalmatian's 100. Maybe a Dalmatian. Um, if you have to question it, they say probably not. But with such big ink blots, I'd like to keep this one just because Dalmatians are one of my favorites. And if I can grow it up to be either a male or a female and at that point buy some more this would be a great one to add to that just to help boost that line and there's a lot of high contrast in this gecko i don't think it shows up well on my my phone camera but it is missing a little tip of the tail and again this is another gecko i got from pangea so there was nothing i could do about that that's just what happens when you house a bunch of geckos together now i keep sometimes up to two or three together but as they grow up and they grow out, I usually keep them in pairs that I think will either be a male-female or two females. Never two males, um, just in case. But this is Neon. Now, continuing with geckos um, and their tails and how you house them together. This is Winona. She's one I produced. She's definitely... Uh, got some Dalmatian spots and a little bit of that just a little bit of dorsal stripe that I, I'm not too fond of how little she has so she's definitely getting sold but uh, when they were all babies I was housing them in trios and she definitely lost her tail because of that and she'll go for a little bit cheaper at the show but hold on here her tank mate is Durango, another type of Dodge. He's got some Dalmatian spots and a little bit of Tiger, but nothing too special. Just kind of a, it's a gecko. It's not my favorite. Here is Dart and Dodge. Dart is this guy right here. Uh, basically patternless buckskin with some Dalmatian spots. And Dodge is a high contrast, super cream color on him. And he's definitely going to be a holdback. Hopefully, ends up being a female. Females are good. Females are great. You can always get a male later. The more females, the more breeders you can have. And if I had enough time for 100 more, 100 trios next year, man, if I had time for 100 trios next year, and I held back the best of the best, and I only ended up with six trios, were the females, then I'm basically wasting time. So try to hold back as many as you can and try to get as many females. And if you're short on males, that's fine. You're feeding an extra couple mouse till next year. And then next year, once you sell some babies, you can buy some nicer males and some newer males. But that was Dodge and Dart.
This is Sandra Lee, another really great one produced by myself. And Omni, which I guess is a type of Dodge. There's some nice Dalmatian spots and coloration on Omni, but it's just not quite what I'm looking for to hold back. So he's definitely for sale, or she. And Omni's getting a little big to house with Sandra Lee. And I was hoping Sandra Lee would grow a little bit quicker, but she ain't. So I'm probably going to end up separating them. I do need to drill some more bigger tubs and probably get some ledges for them just so everyone's happy. Last up, we have Maruchin, the big guy, and Cruise Ship, the little guy. Cruise Ship is named Cruise Ship just because I couldn't think of any more names. I kind of ran out of names, and I forget. I must have been looking at something that had to do with the cruise ship. But Maruchin is named after that instant lunch stuff that you add hot water to, or you add water and put in the microwave. I mean, you really shouldn't because it's styrofoam, but I'm pretty sure some people do that. And he's got a lot of Dalmatian spots. They don't all show up on camera. Some of the smaller ones just kind of fade away. But I'm not really sure if it's on my whole backlist, but it might end up being. And we'll see how big it gets and how good it looks before the sack show. And of course, I'll probably bring a lot of holdbacks to the sack show because everything is for sale for the right price. If it's a holdback, I will just end up marking it up a little bit. And if someone wants to pay more than I think it's worth, then they are fine to do that. And I could take that money and buy something that I'm more into. Like if I put this on my holdback list and you would normally sell a gecko this size at pattern for 75 I sold it for 125 that's an extra $50 I can go buy something maybe a super Dalmatian that I prefer or an adult instead of a baby and have something breeding sooner that's going to wrap it up for today's video I hope everyone enjoyed having a look at all 21 of my crested geckos um, a trio they laid about they each laid one extra clutch at the end and both those sets of eggs one of them developed geckos, but the geckos weren't viable, and the other ones, I believe, just went bad in general. Um, so that's probably the end of the season. I really don't know much about the seasons of crested geckos. I just know I put them together and they breed, and that's definitely something I need to do more research on, but they were just given to me, so I didn't really have a choice. I just put them together and they started breeding, and I said, hey, this is fun. I like crested geckos. I'm getting more, but... Definitely do your research, don't do what I did. And I'm going to head to the dollar store and see if I can find some stuff to make ledges. I got magnets. Definitely got magnets. But I need maybe like plastic little right angles for the ledge. And something to like hold the magnet. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway. Uh, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter gmail.com james is jeff Tiles, except for facebook facebook is just james walter which is my name and like subscribe um tell someone about the channel comment leave a comment if you have anything except don't 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 make it negative if you're just gonna say i'm stupid like or i'm doing something wrong actually if you're saying i'm doing something wrong like be nice about it but if you're gonna say i'm stupid i'm just gonna delete your comment so